All right, let's answer this question here. It is question 19. It says, consider the recursion relation below. So as you can see here, we've got an initial amount of $2,000 and then we're simply adding 80 each time. This recursion relations could, relation could be used to model A. Now we immediately know that it's not going to be a compound interest case because we're not timesing, we're plussing, which means it has to be simple interest. So now the case is, all right, is it simple interest? Is it a simple interest investment of 2000 with an annual interest rate of 4%? Remember the way that simple interest works is that you're simply earning a percentage of that initial amount. So in this case, to figure out what 80, uh, what we need to figure out is what is 80 as a percentage of 2000. So we're simply going to do the following. We're going to go, all right, 80 on 2000, you know, what is that? So if I come over here and go 80 on 2000, that's going to give me one on 25. And then if I just come up here and hit control enter, it's going to give me 0.04. So in other words, it is going to be 4%. So to really think this through, you know, if let's just say you set a math test and it was out of 2000 marks, which would be an insane math test, and you only scored 80 of those marks, you would have scored 4%. And that's what we've simply done there. We've gone 80 on 2000 to figure out 80 as a percentage of 2000, and we've gotten 4%. So that simply means that we've got a simple interest investment of 2000 with an annual interest rate of 4%. And remember, you know, we're adding 80 each time. It's simple interest. You're always just earning 4% of that original. This isn't compounding because remember compounding, you're always taking the interest of that previous uh, amount. If we come and look at our examiner's report here, it says, this model, this model is an investment that grows with a constant $80 each year. The option, the options only allow for this addition to come from interest and the constant, constant, I'm butchering reading this. Can I try this again? The options only allow for this addition to come from interest and the constant value indicates it is simple interest. Is that worded very poorly or is it just me unable to read? The rate of the interest per annum is given by 80 on 2000 is equal to 0.04, which is 4%. All right, that's how you do it. Hopefully my inability to read was tolerable.